This is Siren. She was one of two cats inside the crate seen in this surveillance picture. A man and woman in the pictures abandoned both outside Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary Thursday night. Due to storms, the kennel they were in filled with water. And Siren's companion was found dead inside by staff Friday morning. Devastating to, to my staff. Um, it was the first phone call I got this morning as I was getting ready. Um, was could I look at the cameras please to find out who could have done such a horrible thing. Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary Executive Director Stephanie Lauer says dropping off animals after hours should never be done. But adds in the past, others have left animals under their front awning to protect from weather. We don't advocate dumping animals because it is illegal. Um, call us. If you're in that big of a situation, call us. Wait till morning and call us. Lauer says if surrendering your pet is your final option, there is a right way to do it. Bring a photo ID, any important records on the animals, a signature from the rightful owner, and a $5 fee. And we even waive that. I would say 90% of the time, we understand that usually you're under a situation that's only for an owner's surrender. Lauer says some may dump their animals due to embarrassment. People don't want to be perceived as bad people. Um, for giving up an animal, know that we don't think that. You know, we understand that everybody goes through life circumstances that change. Noah's Ark currently has over 100 cats. Laura says half are strays and the other half drop offs. She adds the rescue has had up to 150 cats, depending on the time of year. Usually, first thing in the spring, because we have the first wave of the kitten season, it's huge. And then about this time of the year, we have another wave of kitten season, but we also have the changing weather. Noah's Ark says the people in the pictures have been identified. Laurel says is, this isn't the first time the couple has actually dropped off cats after hours. No word yet if any charges are being issued. Well, Karina, thanks for sharing that story with us.